Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be making a video on some of my samples and travel size perfumes. And I'm gonna start off with some of my Bond number no. 9. So I'm gonna start with Central Park West, and I have two of them. Central Park West is a very floral, it's a very floral feminine scent, perfect for the spring and summer. Okay, then I have Madison Square Park. Where is it? Madison Square Park is more green. It's very like, it has a grass note and it has a very realistic blueberry note. This one is also perfect for summer and spring. The next one is Soho by Bond Number no. 9. This one is very clean and soapy. It's very floral mature um this one is one of my least favorites well this one and um newts to know who this one leans this one says it's for women but it does lean a little more masculine and it's very heavy um it's it is a very patchouli heavy fragrance and i think it leans more masculine so this one i'm probably gonna give it away this one is nice. It's just very soapy and clean, which I don't really go for, but it's still nice. I'm not going to say it's my least favorite. I guess this one's my least favorite because this one leans more masculine. My next one is Bond Number no. 9's New York Nights. This one is a gourmand. This one is caramel. It's caramel, chocolate, and banana. That's what it smells like. Caramel, chocolate, banana. But there is other notes in it. I'll list all the notes here on the side. As well as like a picture of how the bottle looks. But this one. This one has a dry down. The dry down leans a little bit more masculine. This is unisex. But it leans a little masculine in the dry down. But this is something that I would like my boyfriend to use. I don't really see myself using it. But it's a really pretty scent very gourmand very delicious just not for me it's also um very soft it's softer than the rest of these other bond number nines which i wasn't expecting um i feel like you really need to overspray this to get a good performance next one is Delina Exclusive by Perfumes de Marley. I can't really say much about it since I haven't been able to really wear it, but I can say that it is very strong. It's a very strong, very girly, feminine, you know, um, it's a very pretty scent. It's just stronger than the original Delina, which I have a travel size of. The original is more, um, your... It's a more of your everyday summer, spring type of scent. Like, um, it's more bright. It's more tart. This one is just more heavy. It has incense. It has, um, I'll list the notes. But it's just stronger. It's heavier. And I feel like this would be more beautiful during the fall and winter time. This is Perfumes de Marley. Delina, the original. Mm. And this is just a very pretty rose, um, lychee, I think that's how you say it, um, rhubarb. It's just very bright, very tart. Perfect for the summer and the spring. Performance is beast mode. This, the longevity, the sillage, everything is just a 10 out of 10. And the Delina exclusive, like I said, it's a more heavy more um nighttime more for the colder weather next one is aura by mugler this is a very unique very green sweet vanilla um i will say that this is not an easy blind buy i would get a sample of it because it is just very unique and it is be small projection longevity is a 10 out of 10 
This is Paco Rabanne Olympia. This is the Intense. I also have the original, which I already went and got a full bottle. But I still have this little sample. The original is just a vanilla, a beachy salty vanilla with jasmine. And the Intense is just vanilla, salt, amber. It is a more sweeter, a more saltier version of the original. However, I didn't love this. It is sweeter and saltier, but um, there was this one day that I sprayed it everywhere on my skin, on my clothes, and the salt and the amber just gave me this plasticky smell. I was so sad because I did like it when I just sprayed it on my hand and I was smelling it, but once I oversprayed this, it just, it was, I wasn't feeling it. Um, the performance wasn't so great on me, not like the original one. But hopefully I'll get to try this again later. I'll buy another sample and I'll try to give it another try because I really did like it at first and then it just, I don't know. Next is Kayali Elixir. I wore this on Mother's Day and I loved it. I don't think you can see. But this is Kayali Elixir. This is a very jammy rose with apple, patchouli, and I believe amber. It's so nice. It's a little mature. Um, I feel like this, you can wear it to work. You can wear it out um, to dinner, on a night out. It's very sexy to me. I think the patchouli gives it this earthiness, gives it that oomph, and makes it perfect for date tonight. I really, really do like this. Next one is Alien by Mugler. It's the Eau de Parfum. And this is a very soapy jasmine. I don't know how this performs because I haven't had the chance to wear this out. But this is just a very soapy jasmine with amber. It's okay. Moving on to my travel sizes. This one is Angel Muse EDP. This one is a chocolate patchouli. It's so nice. Performance on this is beast mode, longevity, everything. This is perfect for the fall, the winter, like an everyday scent. My next one is, oh, the name isn't on here anymore, but it's the, but it's the Lancome Lenut Tresor a la Folie. I love this one. I have very little. I don't have that much anymore, but I don't want to finish it until I get, till I'm able to get a full size. This is just a very berries and um, a cakey vanilla it's so like it's not a boring vanilla the vanilla is very like dessert like i believe last time i said it was like um almonds and like chocolate and like i don't know but it's just so sweet it's so cakey and like very gourmand you can wear this um you can wear this to bed you can wear this layered with another fragrance you can wear this as an everyday during the fall winter time I love this one. This is the Lancome Le Nude Tresor a la Folie. This one is Montau Paris Intense Cafe. This is unisex. This is a very sugary rose with dark coffee, like black coffee, but it's very light. I don't get tons of coffee. It's more like a sugary rose with dark black coffee in the background performance um my boyfriend wore this once and it projected like crazy it projected for the first maybe two hours and then it got more moderate but it does last a very long time next one oh i already talked about Tina. Next, I have Versace's Bright Crystal Absolute, the EDP. This is a hot pink bottle. 
this is very um i believe it has raspberry it's very um aquatic it's very fresh raspberries um it's okay i don't love it it's very youthful very playful it's fresh it's an everyday scent it's okay it's pretty this one is my lancome idol edp this one has a very juicy pear it's rose it's pear it's very floral this one's pretty too i just find it a bit boring to me but i know a lot of people do love this a lot of people layer this with a bunch of other fragrances this is jimmy choo fever edp this one to me is a mix of a lot of other fragrances that i have already the beginning is a um the beginning is like this raspberry note that reminds me a lot it's very raspberry and dark reminds me of the lancome le new tresor and then it starts coming into that coffee that tonka bean which reminds me a lot of ysl's black opium and then the dry down reminds me it gets softer and it reminds me of the lancome le new tresor a la folie just not as yummy not as cakey So I feel like, and it stays that way, like that little like vanilla dry down, it stays like that. On the skin, it goes away. It doesn't last on the skin at all. I haven't really given it a good try, like a good wear, but I don't love it. I feel like it's a mix of a bunch of things and the first spray gives me an instant headache. It's so strong, but then it quickly dries down to that vanilla, so... I don't love it. I'll probably give this away. This is Prada Candy Night EDP. This one is a very powdery clean because it has iris. I believe that floral note gives it that powderiness, that clean type of feel. And then it starts getting like chocolatey, but it's not like a creamy chocolate. It's more like of a powdery, um, like cocoa or cacao i don't know how to say it but that type of chocolate like it's a very cold fragrance it's not warm it's not um like tonic it's just a powdery clean chocolate type of fragrance it's pretty i use this more during like to sleep the next one is Michael Kors Wonderlust EDP. This is a very clean, nutty type of scent. It has um, cashmere, it has almond milk, almonds. It's a little powdery. This one, I feel like um, the performance isn't that great, but I like to wear it to go to sleep or just to be around the house. To me, it smells kind of like a cleaning, like a clothing softener, like to clean your clothes. It's very clean and nutty and very comforting. Next one is Lyra. This one doesn't have the name on it. I have to open it. I don't know how to say that name, but it's Lyra. I'll put a picture of the bottle and of the note. This smells just like a lemon, like a lemon loaf. You know, those that they're very sweet and have that icing on top. It smells like a dessert. It smells like a lemon cake or lemon meringue. I don't know, like just a lemon dessert. It smells like caramel. It's so sweet. And I feel like this would be perfect on a cold day. this is um oh this is another bond number nine by it's central park west oh, i love this one this one is a very floral white floral fragrance oh, but those white florals are very creamy they're very um they're very creamy and they give like this spiciness this tropical type of scent 
it almost smells like there's coconut in it but there's not it's just those white florals are so creamy spicy a little spicy and tropical it's delicious it smells delicious and it's just white florals white florals i love this one performance is 10 out of 10 it's amazing leaves a trail i love this one a little goes a long way my next one is this one's also from decant x so it doesn't have the name but it's um oud satin mood the extract 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 oh my god it's so good it smells like chocolates and roses this is very strong two sprays and that's it that's enough even for nighttime and usually i over spray anything especially like during the night that's when i like go ham and i'll over spray anything even if it's beast mode but this one i cannot two sprays and you're in a bubble of this scent it is very it's a very pricey fragrance but um i feel like even with just a sample this is a 5 ml and i feel like it's gonna last me a very long time because it's not like an everyday type of scent it's more like of a special occasion and it smells so good this is unisex and i don't think that it gets i don't think it leans too feminine or too masculine it's just like right in the middle and it's perfect it's sexy it's beast mode this one is ellie Saab girl of now edp this is a very heavy floral it's it's floral it's nutty so this is a very nice scent um the only thing is that i get like i feel like it's too heavy for summer and spring i know some people wear it you know you can wear whatever you want but to me it's just a little bit too heavy i would probably wear this during the fall but it's nice next one is tom ford's lost cherry and this is just oh, it's so good it's a very like it smells like a cherry pie there's cherry there's tonka bean i believe there's vanilla it's so good it smells so good i haven't gotten the chance to wear this to give this a full wear but it smells so delicious i'll list the notes The next one is my Burberry Black, my Burberry Black EDP. This one is a peach patchouli. I believe it also has amber and rose, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's rose or jasmine. But um, this is a very nice scent it's very sexy it's more like of a um going out to dinner on a date type of scent performance and projection um is very good yeah it's a very strong fragrance but i like it it's really pretty very sexy next one is lancome midnight rose This has um, raspberry, it has um, it has some spiciness to it, a little bit of greenness to it. It's a little spicy, a little green, it's fresh. It's pretty, but I feel like this maybe would wear better during colder months for like an everyday maybe like during, well maybe for the evening evening tonight type of fragrance and this kind of reminds me of angel nova by moogler this one also has raspberry but this one is more i think this is more strong this is a very clean raspberry 
a little bit of spiciness. And this one is beast mode, like a little goes a long way. If I had to choose one, I'll choose this one, but they kind of give me a similar vibe. Not that they smell alike, but they give me similar vibes. But I like this one more, Angel Nova. Next one is bond number nine, Spring Fling. This one is another clean, soapy floral. Not my favorite. And I feel like it leans a tad masculine, like just a tad. Not my favorite. Spring Fling by bond number nine. Tom Ford, Nior Pour Femme EDP. This one, I recently got it. I recently got this one, and when I smelled it, I went ahead and I bought a full-size bottle because it is so good. This smells like Thanksgiving, like Christmas. I feel like this is a perfect everyday type of fragrance for the fall and winter. It has ginger, it has kofi, which is um, Indian dessert. It's like an Indian ice cream. So it's tonic. It's so good. It's a go spicy gourmand. It's so nice, you guys. I loved it so much. Like I said, I have bought a full-size bottle. Tom Ford, New York Parfum. Next one is Bond Number no. Nine Madison Avenue. This one I like. I like it a lot. This one also performance is a beast. This is very feminine. It's floral, but it's um. I'll list the notes. I don't really know how to explain how this smells. It's very well blended. It's very feminine. Very pretty. And it's a beast mode. A little goes a long way. I feel like this one and um, Central Park West are my favorite ones. And I feel like they will last me a very long time because you don't need a lot. Okay, so that is it for my samples and travel sizes. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!